What do you think about the situation now in Jammu and Kashmir? See, the situation in Jammu and Kashmir uh, is very uh, is critical, delicate, even exclusive. And I have all the concern about the situation. It has deteriorated to the maximum. And uh, the security forces of India, uh, they are also committing excesses against the common people, which further escalates the situation. Hundreds of Muslim youth, Muslims, unarmed people, they have been brutally killed. It's a very tragic story, a painful story that people who ask for their legitimate rights, for their democratic rights, for their fundamental rights, they are being uh, massacred, they are being killed, and nobody is trying to understand the root cause of the present situation. You see, present situation is basically a political one, and it needs a political solution. What might be the political solution? See, the political solution is that right from 1947, people of Kashmir have been denied of their fundamental rights, of their basic rights. Congress, I, at New Delhi, they always treated Kashmir as a colony and uh, treated the people of Kashmir as second-class citizens. And they ne never tried to win the hearts of the people. They never tried to trust the people. They always created agents in Kashmir. They are puppets. They are situates. They are willing tools just as Farooq Abdullah. He became the willing tool, a stooge, into the hands of New Delhi. He let down the people of Kashmir. Actually, all these rulers, they always let down the people of Kashmir, never respected their will. Therefore, it was expected, a, a, a ray of hope was raised among the Muslims of Kashmir, among the people of Kashmir, when National Front government came into power in New Delhi. The present Prime Minister of India, Mr. V. P. Singh, in his policy statement said that I will give priority to Kashmir issue, to Kashmir problem and I will give priority to Punjab. Even he went to this extent, he said, I will try to solve the Kashmir problem by the, through the popular will, to go to the people, to ask their grievances, to see what's going, what has gone wrong with them. People of Kashmir have been neglected for decades now. The situation has been very much complicated. I welcomed the statement of the government of Prime Minister. We hoped that a new era will usher in, will start. You are asking for the plebiscite, you are asking when, for the when, fulfilling of the UNO resolution? You see, actually, when uh, Prime Minister said that uh, we are trying to understand the problem, we want the, uh, the people, their cooperation, I thought that they will certainly make some positive initiatives. They will certainly uh, meet the people. But nobody came here else the, the troops. The troops were sent to Kashmir. Paramilitary forces are being sent to Kashmir. Instead of healing the wounds, what Prime Minister said, we want to heal the wounds. Mm. I only say, say is it a way to heal the wounds, to kill more and more people, to send more and more army to Kashmir? Can it satisfy 
the aspirations of the people? Is it a solution to the problem? I say it's a political problem. Only administrative measures, only, uh, you see, economic measures, they will not solve the problem. Government of India has to take political initiatives. Therefore, we are the basic party to this issue. If we are being neglected, what a solution can be sought? That will be not a, not, not a uh, lasting solution. Therefore, India and Pakistan must bear it in mind that it is the people of Kashmir who matters, to whom the problem belongs. Therefore, our will 